right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the final episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my future videos. That being said, let's just get down to it. Let's finish this game. I'm just going to power through and finish it. All right. So in the last episode, we did Asteroid X-57. No need to do that. Now, we're just going to go straight to Vermeer. Because we did everything else. Okay, here we go. Commander, I'm reading a signal. It must be on the security infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath the radar, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know that's will. Meet you in the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. I'm just looking to see if there was stuff here. No, there isn't. Okay, we can get out of here and just get going. Ran over a bug, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> bye bye assault drone. Bye bye rocket drone. Is he behind the rocks? He is. There we go. That feels just a little high. There we go. That's better. Ooh. Ooh, got them both with one shot. Nice. We'll kill you. Kill you. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got jamming. One, two, three.
Really? So we're gonna stop off here. We don't have to, but we're gonna anyway. Get some free items. Boom. We'll just take you out. We'll take you out. Ha! Ah, we got the sapper. Boom, there we go. Really? There we go. There we go. Oh, here's a Colossus. There we go, there was a Colossus. <laughs> And me, I like going around killing everything just so I can get the experience, get the levels. Fitness for you. We got you done, so I'm guessing we might do warp next. And you. We'll do electronics first. Okay. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Oh, we will. I would have taken out by the leg. <laughs> I got him around the corner.
There we go. Well, see, you say that, but... There we go. Ready to move on your work, Shepard. We will move here in a second. We just need to check this out before we go. Because you never know, you might find the light um Colossus armor. And Liara needs the light armor, so... There's Joker with the Normandy. Alright, you can just burn to a crisp. So I can get up here. Boom. God. So now we just go to the camp. It's just a straight drive to the camp. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain it. Yeah, yeah. supposed to do now stay put until we can come up with a plan are you in charge here what's the situation i'm captain kirahi third infiltration regiment stg you and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone every aa gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence what are we supposed to do in the meantime we stay put until the council sends the reinforcements we requested we are the reinforcements what you're all they sent i told the council to send a fleet we couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. 
And these Krogan follow Saren. The Gath are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Okay. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. We'll take the license. And then we'll just sell everything. Okay, now to go talk to Rex. I remember the first time playing this game, I didn't even know where that gunshot was coming from. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt if Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. All right, so we saved Rex. I'm going to switch guns. Um, I'm going for the shotgun. Why not? Just to have some fun. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. 
Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I'll have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden rats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Okay, so we'll just take our two and then we'll go for our shadow team. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. I know it said I'd use the shotgun, but actually, this would work better. There we go. Not your ass. Your ass. We'll do that. That helps um, the Salarians. There we go. Okay. Always take your items. You get free experience for unlocking those um, lockers and stuff.
Sat strikes. Neato, watch for comm stations. William, can you see anything? Got the satellite uplink destroyed. You don't have to destroy that satellite. I do it because I'm a nice guy, so... There we go, we killed the Krogan. Now you want to go to the right over here. I thought it was the right. Which way are we going? Yeah, keep going this way. Yep. Okay. And Tally's going to just blow this place to hell. There we go. Two with one shot. Huh. How you do that? Okay. Now, we're just looking for items real quick. There we go. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Okay, now we're gonna use the shotgun. What do we have on for the shotgun? For... Yeah.
There. Just so we can check for items now. I don't think there are any, but let's check anyway, just in case. I don't even know what this intel report is for, but I always get it anyway because it's free experience. Okay, now I want to check to see what's over here. Oh, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during week. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. We knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrible. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Okay. These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. Okay, so got that one. Now we need to go to the other side. Great, I'll take those free items. Shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. 
something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Simple! Okay. I don't know how to unlock that door. I'm sure there's a way to do it. And I just need to look up how to do it, but I, I don't know how to do it. So what did they come out or what? Okay, so now we can go down the elevator. Ooh, a savant for biotic amp. Miss um, Liara could use that. Hell yeah, she can. <laughs> Phoenix, I bet you it's an upgrade, isn't it? No, it's not. It might be for Ashley. Boom boom. Don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of 
Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Nothing over here. Okay. No shit. Okay. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. No. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blind flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic you exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Let's.
letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? of the Reapers. Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Right? Okay. So now we're heading out of here. Shot down. Okay, so we go this way. We have a Krogan who thinks he's gonna be hot shit. You're not getting up, stupid immunity using motherfucker. There, we got him. There we go. There we go. Sabotage you, you stupid little son, bitch. And we got him. Let me see what we have equipped on this shotgun. Um Okay. Now 
But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swap to the assault rifle. It'll be so much easier to deal with for where we're going, so... There we go. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. And there's nothing here, so we just wait for Joker to get his ass over here. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Okay, so it's this one we go to. Hit the button. Uh, you too. We did get up a level, so we'll go ahead and level ourselves up. There we go. Grab the crate. It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted the troop ship at its own location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Y yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Okay, so here we go. 
Up to the AA tower we go! Some diversion, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to and for that, you must die.
Bam! Old cocked him one right in the face. Blammo! Where cartoons and blam! Where cartoons and comics collide! <laughs> Should have been me, Commander. You know that. I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know, and I'm grateful. But Caden died because of me. Because of us. Ash, how far are you going to drag yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose you because of it. Aye, aye, Shepard. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. 
Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, Ascension Machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Okay. Now we get to go around and talk to everyone. Which I don't think we really need to talk to anyone but Ashley. Oh, and um, there's someone else down here too. I won't spoil it. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Okay. Yep, so now we can just go ahead and get out of here. But we need to take a selfie anyway. We'll take one with Rex, why not? Hey. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get this done. I'm just trying to plow, plow through all this, you know. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir.
Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers, and then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. holding up, Skipper. This isn't over yet. You're an optimist, Shepard. I guess we'll have to consider this part of humanity's learning experience. We'll figure it out. We have to. Can I count on you to be there? I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. <laughs> you made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Ooh. I got a message from Captain Anderson. Fuck, walk. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Sounds important. You'd better go. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the... Okay, so here we go. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Okay, so we'll go up this way, um, because there is one thing we need to do. Admiral Kahoku, a 
respected member of the Alliance military has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Patarians died of natural causes. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Okay. Pardon me, soldier. Could I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treated. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry you came to this. Okay. Oh, wait. He's over here. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islands. You have to stop Saren from using the Condor. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. 
I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel control center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. But that is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override him. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this person. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay, so I'm gonna safety save here, just in case. Okay, so now we gotta get back to Normandy, which we'll just fast travel there, so... That way then we don't have to go through an elevate couple elevators we can just go through one so reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard the first human specter unfortunately Shepard refused to answer questions raising concerns regarding the specters commitment to humanity we'll have exclusive footage later today Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send him. Cold cocked him. <laughs> it is just so satisfying watching that. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Okay, now let's go to Ilos. We got everything else done, so we can go straight to Ilos. Skipper. You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. 
Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. I couldn't blame the Council for calling us reckless or aggressive. Just a few months ago, you would have. I've had some things to think about since coming aboard. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. Is my rank all you see when you look at me? No. I see a strong, passionate man. With a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold words, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> Would you roll your eyes if I said this is the first time in months I felt that all's right in the galaxy? <laughs> yes. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say, wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Commander, we've got company. Have the sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Dig us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard.
Damn. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay. So we come up this way. Kill the trooper. Oh wow, these guys are coming fast. Fuck. There. So I'm just going to run through this. I'm not going to go down and around and all that shit because that's where I usually get lost. and I still get lost even though I mean I've, I've done this God knows how many freaking times but yet I still get freaking lost Fell away. Take the headshots. Still has power. It must be running off its own generator. The 
This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after you went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. That's how you do that. And there's no more enemies until we get into the bunker, so we'll be fine there. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Okay. Something over here. We'll just grab it real quick. I can. There we go. Then here's the shortcut to get back to the bunker.
is happening. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. You're right, he's not. eventuality was one of many that was anticipated this is why we sent our warning through the beacons it looks like some kind of vi program pretty badly damaged i do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you unlike the other that passed recently perhaps there is still hope this is incredible an actual prothean vi and i can understand it I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely, they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. 
Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. 
My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. The Reapers come from dark space? How do they even survive out there? We only have theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter a prolonged state of inactivity to conserve energy. Effectively, they hibernate for the tens of thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? and the one on Vermeer. What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. 
I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. How come nobody noticed the Citadel is a giant mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay. You know what? Let me see if I can get a selfie here. If I can turn them around. There. This one would make a little bit more sense for the thumbnail, I think. <laughs> all their culture, all their advanced technology, and the proteins were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like I did. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. There we go. Finally that Colossus went down.
There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Do you think? No. <laughs> Oh shit! There they are! Go, go, go! Run, Forest, run! Run, Forest, run!
So here we go. We're climbing the citadel. So this is just run and shoot, man. Run and shoot. Bastard. Here we go. Take on the drop ship. Turn on the defense turrets. There, we just sent it them like they were nothing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Stupid destroyers.
There we go. We go down here. And into the tower we go. Take care of them, we take care of him. Take care of him. Take care of him. Damn, we leveled up again. What did we get to? 57? Holy shit. What are we going to do here? With Shepard.
Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Contestant Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. <coughs> Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Here we go! The final battle! Make sure he's dead. our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost.
There, we got him. safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Let the politicians figure this one out. I agree with the commander. This is too important to rush into. Of course, Ambassador. We will welcome your candidates with open arms, whomever they may be. 
Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. All right, well, that's the end of the game. Well, that's going to be it for this series. You know, hope you all had fun in it. I did. And I will see you all in the next series I decide to make. You know, I know I'll go through two and three. Um, I'll probably put that on hold to give me a break. So, um, but I will import this character to two and three. So, I'll see you all in the next series.